Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ramblings, guys, I got screwed, okay? Royally screwed. Now, it wasn't the scam, okay? You know, that whole scam with David from Come On Homesteading and the uh, dump trailer? A um, little update on that real quick. Uh, after I filmed my ramblings, I did get contacted back by the person selling it saying that, you know, they wanted the deposit. If I didn't want to lose it, I'd have to, I'd have to, you know, they wanted $500 deposit. Uh, they won't be back until the 16th. Uh, appears they work down in Baton Rouge, but the trailers at their house in, uh, in Illinois, in uh, Murfreesboro, Illinois, way up by St. Louis or between Cape Dorado and St. Louis. So I told David all this and he said, well, tell them we'll just wait till they get back and come get it and not do the deposit. And I'm like, David, it's it, it per sure it's scam, you know. Uh, but I'll tell them. So I told them, and they're like, oh, yeah, a lot of people will be wanting this thing. You know, you want to do the deposit? I said, well, just let us know when you get back, and we'll, we'll take care of them. We're not going to hear nothing from them. Or they're going to say, hey, uh, that, you know, it's still available. You can't go see it. You know, it, it, it's, it was a scam. But, but the, today's, guys, today is not about being screwed. Today's about good news mostly good news mostly good news guys okay starting off with uh the news i've been talking about all week i wanted to tell you and i think today's the right day to tell you i uh my son my oldest son tyler uh is getting married congratulations tyler uh he told me uh, he's engaged uh, they'll probably get married um probably late spring early summer um He's been with her for, for a while. She has a daughter, which is Sophia's, like, like a granddaughter to me. And uh, so I'm very, very happy for Tyler. Uh, he's, he, he is happy, and that's really all that matters to me. He's happy and healthy. And uh, so let's all uh, congratulate Tyler on getting engaged. And uh, hopefully I'll have more information about that uh, as time progresses. But let's get back to being screwed, okay? So this is, uh, I know sure y'all want to see, see how I got screwed. You saw the thumbnail. You know, you know. Um, I went to the doctor yesterday. I actually got to see the orthopedic surgeon that did the work on my knee there. And, um, he gave me a lot of information, stuff that I had didn't have. Okay. Um, I said, uh, first of all, doctor, did I have a menis lateral meniscus repair? Yeah, I was kind of told lateral meniscus repair, but you know, apparently your notes came out. He goes, oh, no, 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 no. You had a uh, an ectomy. It was removed. You, you had it removed. It's like, ooh. I was like, oh, no. Is that going to cause me problems? He goes, no, 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 Mr. Roberts. Um, you, have, uh, you, you had portions that were blown out and hanging there that were doing no good, so I removed them. That They were not to the point where I could sew them back in. That would be a repair. If I could sew them back in, reattach them, in other words, uh, then that would be a repair, but I could not do that. So I removed the parts that were floating around and, uh, and then the, uh, the part that was still in there had a little jagged edge. I scraped it off a little bit and, uh, but you still have lateral meniscus. Uh, so you, you do have a little bit of arthritis in your knee, Mr. Roberts. Uh, you you may have to deal with that in the future, but your lateral meniscus is still there. Guys, I got pictures. He had it on his laptop. And he pulled up the pictures of it, and I took pictures for you. So, guys, this picture right here, okay, this picture, you're looking at the lateral meniscus. You can see that it, that piece is just floating in there. He took that out. It's gone. It's all nice and clean. Uh, I saw the picture of it afterwards. It was nice and clean all around the lateral meniscus. So, he's very happy with it. When if he's very happy with it, I'm very happy with it. Which, this is why, guys, I could put weight on my leg right after surgery, uh, because if it was a meniscus repair, you could not do that. You cannot do that. Okay, guys, so now the ACL. Um, he said, uh, my incisions look great. Actually, he, he took off, he took off the stereo strips, guys. Look at that. It looks great, doesn't it? Doesn't that look great? That looks amazing, except for this big old giant bruise back there. You probably can't see that on the video. Um, he took off the ster uh, the stereo strip so you look at it, and it has those kind of sutures that uh, uh, dissolve themselves. He took a picture of it because he said, I've got pictures of autograft uh, post-surgery, but I don't have any pictures of allograft where they use the cadaver tissue post-surgery because uh, the, the number of holes in your and the size of the incisions are different. He's doing a presentation for his uh, do uh, fellow doctors, and uh, he's going to use my picture and uh, my, my x-rays and MRIs and all that in his presentation. So that's pretty cool. Gonna be famous in the doctor. 
Spider World, right? Ridge Life, inside of Ridge Life's knee. Um, so I learned a lot more, guys, you know, because when I came out of surgery, I was, you know, sedated and I, I didn't know any of this stuff. I know we talked about it before surgery, but now I know the details. Okay, now you're going to know the details. Uh, he showed me the x-rays and I've got two titanium screws, <laughs> very large titanium screws in my knee. I, I didn't know that that's how they were going to attach that uh, allograft, the cadaver tendon. Um, I should have done more research, maybe. I, I, don't, I didn't know. But he showed me the x-rays, had two giant screws. They drilled these two holes, one in the top bone, one in the bottom bone, femur and um, tibia, fibula, one of the two. And uh, drilled this big old hole, right? And then they actually pack it with bone fragments. And then they drill that, uh, tighten that screw down in them bone fragments, and that fuses it all together. And attached to those two screws is the cadaver ACL tendon. They completely remove my tendon, okay? Compl it, it was, okay, I've got pictures of that, guys. All right, right here, this first picture is a picture of my uh, ACL detached. You can see that that big old glob of tissue should be attached to that bone on the left. It's not, it was completely severed, ripped completely away. Um, the doctor uh, cut that out and removed it. And once he got that removed, he used, check this picture out, he used, this tendon right here, okay? So this it looks kind of gnarly, doesn't it? This big, and that was not for me, dead leg Tim, right? He used this tendon. Those are attached to the screws and they get put in there and uh, reattached and uh, they just heal up and uh, now I've got an ACL tendon. Is that crazy or what? Yeah, so I've got um, screws in there. Now check out these x-rays right here, okay? Here, here are the x-rays. You can see, just this is my left knee. You can see that big old giant screw screwed in there. Uh, that, that's crazy, guys. That's crazy. Now, this x-ray right here, this one is both my knees. You can see my left knee is just fine. My right knee got the two big screws in it. So I got screwed. <laughs> I got screwed. Uh, but I'm, I'm doing very, very well. He was very, very happy. The big news for this, which made me so happy, I said, Dr., Everything is going great. My PT is going great. But the one thing that's bothering me the most is sleeping in that big old brace locked in the zero position. It's metal, metal bars, metal hinges and all that. He said, based on how you're doing, Miss Roberts, so you're, you're a little ahead of repair uh, healing schedule. You know, you're physically fit. You've got good quadriceps, you know, uh, tone, uh, uh, reaction is doing well. Uh, you can sleep without the brace. I was like, yeah! Yeah, so happy, so happy I could sleep without that brace. Now, um, so last night, I got in bed, had the brace off, you know, watched a, watched that new, uh, was it, uh, um, oh, what's it called, Half-Life? Fallout, Fallout on Prime, that uh, video game uh, movie, Fallout, has the dude off Justified in it, not uh, Timothy Oliphant, uh, uh, but the uh, other guy with the big teeth and the big hair. <laughs> anyway, I was watching that series that just came out, and uh, as I uh, turned it off, been talking to Jen Jen, and uh, said goodnight to her, and then went to bed, went to sleep, all right? And I was like, yeah, I can roll over. I don't have that big old giant metal thing. I can sleep with my you know leg bent a little bit. Guys, it, it was still a long night. Before, I'd always wake up about every half hour, every hour. Well, last night, it was about the same. Uh, I was more comfortable, which is a good thing, but every time I would roll over, I would be reminded I just had major knee surgery. It's still, it's only been two weeks, guys, right? Two weeks today. Today's Friday, right? Happy two-week anniversary of the knee surgery. Um, so it still hurt. Uh, it ached, you know, and all I'm taking is Tylenol. No, no, no other painkillers right now. Uh, went to bed with Tylenol. Actually, gab gabapentin. I go to sleep with a little bit of gabapentin, but that doesn't really do much. It's really low dose. Um, but it hurt. And, but it's going to be a daily process. And I am not complaining, guys. I am super thankful of how uh, well the doctor did and the progress and, and all the support you guys are doing. Um, I'm excited about getting this video out to you coming on Ridge Life. Um, I said I was going to have you know the my, me blow my knee out the trail camera along with all the other trail cameras from the winter. Can't do it. Um, too many trail cameras and uh, you really want to see my knee. So what I'm doing is I selected one trail camera that was right next to where I blew my knee out 
And so you'll see me blow my knee out, but you're gonna see these amazing deer pictures. I got deer, bucks, fi antlers fighting. I got two different sets of deer doing it, little bitty deer and bigger deer. And I got giant nine, 10 point deer walking through there, scraping and rubbing. You're gonna like this video. That should be out, it's not gonna be out today. It should be out tomorrow, Sunday at the latest, okay? And don't forget Ridge Life Lessons, Lessons from the Ridge, Sunday at 9.30 a.m. on Ridge Life Lessons. That, that's gonna be live. Uh, that be the next time you get to see me live. Um, but yeah, on Ridge Life, I'll have the, uh, Tim blew out his knee on oh my caught on camera. Okay. Um, but yeah, the doctor visit went very, very well, very, very well. Um, got two, two titanium screws in my knee. I guess airport security is going to be a little bit different from now on. Um, but I've always had some metal in my body. I've always had some metal. Does anybody out there know where else I've got metal in my body? Okay. Uh, I was shot. I was shot. Okay, if anybody knows where I was shot and where my metal in my body is, leave a comment down below. I'm, I'm curious, who knows? Who out there in the YouTube world knows where I was shot and what kind of metal I've got in my body besides the two titanium screws? I'd be very curious to see who ha who knows? Who knows? Who knows where the metal is uh, in my knee? Because I got screwed. Nope, I got metal someplace else. Oh, where's it at? Where's it at? <laughs> All right, I know I'm goofy. Um, let's see, I got PT here in just a little bit. Uh, the wind is so crazy today, but the sun is out. I'm very, very happy for that. Um, but I wanna get out and finish the intros and outros for the uh, the blowing the knee out. That's all I was waiting for, because it was pouring down rain and storming all week. And uh, now the sun's out, but we got 25 mile an hour winds out there. But I really wanna get outside, get in the woods a little bit and uh, film the intros, outros for the, the trail cam and knee, knee video. So um, i just just blessed every day that you all uh, watch Ridge Life Ramblings and Ridge Life and all, all our channels here you know, for the family. Uh, you guys just bless us every day. We're so, so thankful for you just being so kind to us. I really have, guys, I really have the best viewers, okay? David, you got some good viewers. Uh, Melanie and Gary, Anthony and Roxanne, y'all, uh, uh, DD5, Lissa and uh, um, Mike, but guys, I don't have any problems with you guys. I don't I don't have to block anybody. I don't think I I think if you look at my block list, I got like one person on it on Ridge Life. I got like one or two people blocked on Ridge Life. That's it. That's it. On Ridge Life with 32 31,000 plus subscribers. I think I've got two people blocked. Um they call it hidden. They call it hidden. Um because you guys don't, you guys are just nice. You guys are nice to me. I don't, I don't hardly ever get, you know, even on like my review video, or even on my like a trail, or uh, um, when I was trapping, you know, I was trapping the coyote and all that stuff. I got a few people that said, you know, you shouldn't do that or uh, uh, vegans, but really they're just, they're just not that mean to me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very blessed that you guys are pretty nice to me. Almost all of you. I, I have hardly very, 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 very few people that say mean things. Now, that doesn't mean start saying mean things. <laughs> Please don't do that. Please don't. David and Melanie, they have to they have to worry about that all the time. And Lissa, oh my goodness, the things people say to Alyssa, that's, that's, that's just terrible. And even Anthony and Roxanne get people going crazy. I, I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. But you guys are great. You guys are great. And I appreciate every single one of you. So guys, I'm going to leave you with that. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, seeing the pictures of how I got screwed. Okay, so until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling and go rich life.